right, people, how are we today? Uh, I got my coffee. Going to be going over content management systems today, different CMS platforms. Um, I'm sure you've heard this terminology before, CMS, content management system. It's basically a platform that is going to allow you to keep your code separate from your content. So your header is going to stay the same, your footer is going to stay the same. Um, but you're able to go into the back end of these platforms, which are mostly built on the same foundation, such as HTML, CSS, PHP, um, JavaScript, and you're going to be able to go in and then manage your text and your images and such with a more user-friendly um, user interface. So as you can see here, here are just a few of them. Um, we're going to go over about five today with one kind of being a little bit different than a CMS, but still give you an understanding how they work. Uh, WordPress, I'm sure you've heard of, is probably the most popular. Magento um, is more of an e-commerce type. Drupal, which doesn't power as many websites, but there's still websites out there that do. And uh, Dreamweaver, which again, this one's a little bit outside of the picture. But it's more of a uh, coding um, management type system. And then Joomla, which is another similar to WordPress. It, it's just another content management system. So kind of looking over these guys, the first one I want to just pull up is WordPress because it's probably the most popular. And what you'll see here is we're at the WordPress website. This is all open source, so everything here is free. You're able to download it and then open it up on your own server. And WordPress originally came around as one of the foundational CMS platforms. And a lot of what made it popular was its ability to blog. So people were using WordPress as a blogging platform, but soon it became much more. And people, you can see here Vogue, um, Bloomberg, you can see started using it more as a web platform with the blogging technology still connected to it. So you could kind of separate those two pieces. And since then, it's really evolved to become one of the most popular platforms out there, uh, growing with, again, responsive SEO, um, easy management kind of. Well, I wouldn't say easy because WordPress is not necessarily easy. But once you've become familiar with it and you've used it a lot, you're going to find that it is uh, pretty powerful stuff. So going back, that's kind of WordPress. That's one of the most popular CMSs and actually powers um, probably a large percentage of the websites on the internet. The next one is Magento, which is known for its e-commerce capabilities. Magento is a platform that was recently purchased by Adobe. Um, I believe it is still open source. Let's go back here. I believe it is still open source, um, but Adobe might be changing that. But uh, Magento has always been known for its e-commerce integration within the CMS. So a lot of product management, shipping um, features such as that, that you're going to need if you have an e-commerce store. So that's kind of Magento, guys. Um, let's keep it going here. Drupal. Drupal is another similar to... WordPress, um, but it's not such a blogging known platform. It's more for developers and it's more for um, kind of actual websites as opposed to blogging. So you can do a lot. There's a lot of extensions and plugins with this that become uh, e-commerce. I know a lot of higher eds actually use Drupal uh, just to kind of keep things a little bit different for security reasons, things like that. Uh, government, I wouldn't be surprised if they do a lot with Drupal as well. So again, it doesn't power as many websites, but it's a popular CMS. Um, definitely play with it. We get a few websites where people request it and a few that have already been built on it. But uh, for the most part, Drupal's not as popular as something like a WordPress or coming to Joomla, which is probably my personal favorite. As you can see, I have my Joomla uh, shirt on because I'm uh, part of the Joomla Florida group, went there a few years, and uh, Joomla is awesome, I always love Joomla, again, I'm not, it's open source, so it's free, and it also has a large community, you can see here, this is the Joomla website, it's popular for just being known as a website platform CMS, that has a lot of extensions and plugins and a large development community, you can see it has a lot with uh, SEO, mobile, uh, 
bilingual or multilingual websites, which uh, in the United States isn't as important, but when you get into Europe and uh, other foreign countries, you're going to find that a lot of people use multilingual. And then just a whole user plat permissions platform and such. So Joomla is really popular. You're going to come across it. I, I would recommend giving that a try. And then, guys, the last one I'm just going to go over real quick here is Adobe Dreamweaver, which is a little bit separate because this is actually just a code editor. Um, you're going to allow you to create different website code and such. So you can actually play with this. I believe there's like a free 30-day trial, but it'll allow you to go in and actually edit all these different CMS platforms. And it's, it's really vi uh, similar to uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code, which is what a lot of developers use. It's uh, open source. So, guys, that's kind of our rundown of our different CMS platform. If you have a preference, let us know. We can work with all of them. If you want more information on any of them or what might be best for your business, uh, reach out, and we'd love to help you. With that said, stay tuned and continue to follow along for new videos and tutorials coming every all the time. So. Take care, guys. Good to see you. Peace.